encompasses again, and this time in animation, which is the business of making things move or appear to move. In this case, it's going to be a farmer trundling across the field in chase of something. Let me show you how we do it. First of all, we make a wheel. And I've opened these compasses, and so the distance between the point of the pen and the point of the compass is about three centimetres. It doesn't have to be like that, but that's not a bad size to work with. Draw a circle of that size. And when you're finished, cut it out. Now make sure the cutting out is very smooth, because that, in fact, is going to be a wheel. And to save time, I've already cut one, and there it is, like that. Don't forget, use fairly stiff paper or thinnish cardboard, otherwise it'll crumple up on you. All right, what do we do then? Mark a cross and make sure the cross goes through the centre of the circle. One arm across like that, and at right angles to it, another arm here. Make those pretty light, because you're going to have to draw over them. And the things that you draw over them are the farmer's legs. And I would start off with a boot here, turn it round, put a boot in the same position, all the way around, and when you've done that, come back and put his legs in, which always start from the middle part and come down to join the boot. Well, that's pretty crude, but I've already prepared one of those too, also to save time. There it is. I've coloured in the middle bits black so that you don't really see them against the black background, but there are four legs of the farmer. Well, to make uh, his body, we'd get back to our cardboard, put the disc on the bottom of the cardboard like that, and move it up just a bit so that the pin can go through the wheel and the body of the farmer. Make a mark on either side of that wheel to give us a bit of leeway there, and sketch his body in, which might be something like this. A big tum there, a head which is fairly easy to cut out, don't forget you've got to do that, hair flying in the wind, coattails flying in the wind, and perhaps an arm ready to catch whatever he's chasing. Well, that's pretty rough. You'd do it a bit better than that. And I have. And here he is. The body of the farmer there, cut out and coloured in. I've also stuck a handle on the back, which makes it easier to work him. And the way we put all those things together is to get a pin, poke it just above the edge through the middle of the farmer, and if you turn him over and put that wheel on, here we are, put the painted side of the wheel poking out the same direction as the painted side of the farmer. So he's like that. To hold him together, you can either use a cork, which is pretty easy to get your hands on, or a block of styrofoam, which might be easy, but is certainly easy to push under the pin. There we go. Jam it on there, and the whole thing's held together. And you can see he's animated because when you take hold of the handle and trundle him along, that wheel moves. And so do the legs on it. As one appears, the next one disappears, and he appears to be running. So there we've got the farmer, and if you make a few of those things, you've got the farmer chasing his poultry, across his field.